Today I will show you another beautiful example of spinning magnetic levitation and discuss how it relates to space travel. We have three copper wire coils, one, two, three. Each of these is 80 millimeters in diameter with 500 grams of 0.5 millimeter copper wire. These are powered by a three phase variable frequency device. We can adjust the frequency and they're wired very simply as UVW. In the center we have a 60 millimeter neo magnet can spin around and also rise up and I'm, I've made it so the magnet when it spins just won't touch the coils. To measure weight instead of using a digital scale like before I'm using this analog scale which isn't very sensitive but also there are no possible errors in measurement. So let's turn on the three phase power that's four hertz you can see the red tape going around four times per second and the magnet wobbling. Now we're at 10 hertz, going around 10 times per second and the magnet wobbles. You can read the frequency right off the variable frequency device and adjust it with that button. And right now, there's no change of weight on the scale. Nice and elegant. Let's go to 15 hertz. And now we're at 17 hertz, and the magnet has lifted up somewhat. You see it's no longer down there. It's lifted up quite a lot, up in the air. The spin angular momentum has lifted it up. So we have increased potential energy until it falls. Then a release of potential energy, the scale moved quite a lot. It came up and it came down again. Let's turn the power up even more. 20 hertz. 25 hertz. And when it falls, you can see the scale moves. Quick release of potential energy changes weight on the scale. 25 hertz, 30 hertz, thirty-five hertz, forty hertz. that high frequency it loses sync when it falls. We can turn it on again however quite easily. 10 Hertz back to 17 Hertz where it rises up. It'll sit there for a long long time very stably. Then when it gets too high like that I'm gonna watch the scale this time when it falls. And you see the scale went down because the whole device got a bit lighter temporarily when it fell. When the magnet was up here, the scale was constant. Then in free fall, when it was in free fall, that weight of the magnet didn't affect the scale and the scale temporarily got lighter and then it returned to normal when the scale fell down again. So, how might that relate to space travel? The essential feature of this device is that three wire coils with three phase power will make a central magnet spin and rise up. It's a north-south magnet. And when it's up here, it's the same weight as down there. My hand's not holding it. But while my hand's holding it, the scale is a lot lighter than before because the weight of the magnet's not counting. Likewise, when it's in free fall, it's lifted up somewhat. And then when I drop it again, it returns to its normal weight. So if we want to extract potential energy for space travel, we need to have that magnet go up and down somewhat, charge it with potential energy, then release it again. Every time we release the energy, it'll move forward and accelerate against the force of gravity. Or if we have an electromagnet here out in space rather than gravity, it'll do the same thing if we put an electromagnet below. So this device offers considerable potential as a new form of space travel.